It's time now for our segment for your community. Here's WBZ's Paula Eben. Matt Herndon, uh, CEO of Schwartz. Tell us just a little bit about the background of your organization and how you came to be. Yeah, the Schwartz Center was founded approximately 25 years ago by an area healthcare attorney by the name of Ken Schwartz. Mm -hmm. And Ken was faced with a very grim diagnosis as a young uh, attorney, um, father to a small child. And um, he came to appreciate just the importance of the human connection uh, between uh, caregivers and patients through his journey as a patient mm. and decided that there needed to be a focus on compassion and healthcare moving forward. And that's really how we started. And, and we've really grown in a lot of ways since then. So you've provided a lot of emotional support for healthcare providers over the years. That's exactly right, Paula. We uh, really support the mental health and well-being of healthcare workers, caregivers, um, so that they're better able to show up for themselves, their teams, and ultimately for all of us as patients. Um, if you show up with your tank empty, your ability to really provide the care that we all want as patients is, is not going to be there. And so through our programs, we really enable healthcare workers and caregivers to show up. Obviously, for the last year, we have dealt with a health crisis uh, like never before in the history of the world. And so you quickly had to pivot to helping healthcare workers with these sessions that you do, but of course, they couldn't physically be together. Yeah, that's right. Um, our core program is known as the Schwartz Rounds, and it brings people together in group sessions to talk confidentially about really the emotional impact of caring for patients. How do you, how do you fundamentally deal with a very sick patient and come back to work the next day after having experienced what you did? So we did have to pivot, and we, we established virtual Schwartz Rounds. So these were conducted via um, Zoom and other mechanisms. And what's great is we actually increased engagement and participation which I think one spoke just to the incredible need that healthcare workers have had during this time. And two, it was just, it was just fundamentally easier for them to come together from their computers, from their desktops. We found that in so many areas of life, right? In some ways, virtual meeting uh, became easier and more inclusive in a lot of ways. The COVID-19 crisis, particularly last March, April, May, was so significant and overwhelming for our healthcare workers on the front lines and hospitals, ICUs. What were you hearing from them at sort of the height of the crisis? Yeah, I, I, I think we're, we've all heard a number of these stories since COVID, but just really incredibly powerful, moving stories of the challenges of, of standing in as family members in some instances, um, being that last person there, in, unfortunately in the case of some patients who didn't make it, and um, just incredible sense of um, pain and anxiety, not only in terms of dealing with patients, but concerns about bringing COVID home to their family members, to their loved ones, and just how to really juggle those emotions. And so our programs attempted to help caregivers navigate those emotions. We actually stood up a resource site visited by over 23,000 caregivers to really just give them basic tools and resources to get through this time. That was one of the ways that we contributed, but um, you know, really profound experiences. What do you want people to know who might watch this about what healthcare workers have been through this last year and how significant this event was on their mental health? Yeah, that um, healthcare workers like all of us uh, have, have had to endure a lot. Um, in some cases, they've dealt with some very intense situations and that we all have an investment to make in healthcare. And so by supporting healthcare workers and their mental health and well-being, we're really supporting the health of the healthcare system overall and our health ultimately as patients, because we're all patients at one time or another in our life. Well, Matt Herndon, CEO of the Schwartz Center for Compassionate Care. Thanks so much for sharing all this information with us and we certainly hope for the best for our healthcare workers as they heal through the next year. Paula, thanks for having me, appreciate it.